What's going on guys? Mr. Tryhard here and I am pretty freaking hyped. I'll tell you what, uh, we got this new project in the works. I kind of hinted at it a little bit in some of the earlier videos, but in a nutshell, it is a brand new Discord server where people can meet each other for team building and then also some coaching on the side and maybe some tournaments later on down the road. I've had my primary Discord for about four months now. And like I've said before, I'm all about meeting the Rocket League community. Like that's what my channel is, meeting the Rocket League community one player at a time. Uh, so it's really big to me. But this Discord that I've had for the last four months has been wrapped around my show. Um, but during that time, I've had people come up and they're like, hey, you know, I'm trying to uh, you know, meet some teammates or whatever, build it, put a team together and uh, have somebody to communicate with while I'm playing, which we kind of do here and there or whatever, but it wasn't really conducive to like really good, solid team building. So anyways, this guy by the name of Shane uh, approached me. We had just met randomly on another Discord at some point, and uh, he had this idea of adding team building to my Discord. And I, I thought on it for a little while, and I thought, well, why not we just why don't we just make our own Discord just for that purpose alone? It can be uh, you know completely focused, so just uh, voice channels, text channels, everything built around finding new people around your rank, in your region, on your platform that you can communicate with right away. But I'm gonna talk about that more in a second. Uh, before that, I wanna talk about the more conventional ways of um, team building that people have used up until this point. And the first one that sticks out to me the most is the, the first one that I have found, which is uh, Rocket League with Friends subreddit. Now on this site, it's, it's pretty uh, rigid as far as how you find friends. You basically uh, submit a post with your region, your platform, your uh, rank, and what it exactly is you're looking for, twos, threes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so pretty, pretty good way to do it, and it's been around for a long time, and a lot of people use it. Uh, maybe not the best method because you still have to wait for somebody to rep reply to you, and then afterwards you have to figure out some way to communicate with them during the game. Now the second way I heard about, which I've never experienced for myself, but Shane brought this up, uh, Steam actually has a group uh, where you, you build teams and it's a it's a pretty large group Rocket League team building and uh, Basically, it's the same concept, but I think it's more lax as far as the rules go You kind of just post something up there and you're hoping that someone finds you still kind of has the same problem as Rocket League with friends uh, subreddit because you still have to figure out some way to communicate with that person and it might take a while to get a response etc, etc so then that's where the third option comes into play. This brand new Discord that I was talking about. It's already, uh, or it's less than a week old and we already have over 200 members. Like people are flocking to this thing like crazy because it really just makes a lot of sense. And I think, you know, I kind of touched on it with the, the Reddit subreddit and the Steam group. One of the biggest downsides is it's difficult to follow up afterwards. So you have to sit there and find some way that you guys can arrange to meet, uh, you know, communicate and stuff like that. But Discord is all about communication, so you're already there ready to go. I have Shane here on the, uh, the line with me. He's the guy that approached me um, and kind of pitched this idea to me, and we've kind of been working since then. Shane, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody how this works exactly? Yeah, thanks. Um so yeah, I had this idea of building a Discord that uh, was really dedicated to people who wanted to improve their Rocket League gameplay, um, find consistent teammates, like right when you get on, you're ready to play, you don't have to you know, spend half the time you wanted to play looking for a teammate. Right. Um, and the other, the other real goal is, you know, let's, let's make a few friends along the way, you know, like let's find some people that I really mesh with, I really play well with, and you know, maybe we go play some tournaments together down the road. Because you're like me. It's a, it's about the community, right? Like you want to meet more people that are similar to you and, yeah. and kind of share those experiences. Absolutely. Um, and someone someone that, you know, our gameplay works together well and um, we can just have a good time when we get on. So uh, when, you, when you join into the family, you uh, just go to our bot command um, tab and you can set your rank, your region, and your platform, which will give you access to the rest of the server. Um, this will give you access to the channels like the looking for teammates, the um, the lobby, um, our training codes, and other stuff like that. And then if you if you're really looking to be notified when someone's looking for for a team or a teammate, um, you can use our looking for tags, which we just put out the, uh, the last few days. Um, and for example, if you're like me, you're you're around gold one, gold two. 
Um, you can use the looking for gold one tag and you just add that to your account. Um, and then every time someone posts that uh, they're looking for someone around gold one, you'll be notified and it'll give you a little ping. Right. Um, and then once you get a teammate and you, you don't want to be pinged anymore, um, you can just take that right back off. Right. So so basically we're in the process of still kind of setting this up. I mean, we, we, we've we're, I'd say we're probably like 97 percent of the way done. The nice thing is that being new in its infancy, we're very receptive to ideas. So if you guys have an idea of how we can make it even better, let us know. Hit us up. Um, we're very active. Shame myself, all the moderators on there. And we're just trying to make the best system possible again to where you can meet people play with them get to know them better and uh and organize right yeah yeah exactly well thanks Shane. i appreciate that man yeah i look forward to playing with you guys soon yeah all right so on top of the team building we're also working on some uh coaching right so uh it's one thing to find somebody you can play with but everybody strives to get better you know we all want to reach that next level get those uh get that champ status or whatever it is that you're trying to shoot for uh so we are also working on offering coaching we have a handful of coaches already uh some of them are uh, top 100 players uh so let me actually introduce you to use wolf uh he was a season two and three grand champ esl monthly champion and uh, you also play, used to play on uh, Kings of Urban, right? Uh, yeah, uh, they're called NRG now. Okay. Uh, can you go ahead and just like tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, maybe a little bit of your coaching experience? Uh, yeah, so I started playing um, about a week after release. And it's just it's one of those games where it's so easy to pick up and just start learning that you just want to get good at it. Yeah, I agree. It's like it's like that game. You can, play, you can have fun at any level, at any skill level, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I just started grinding ranked. Um, eventually, I met Jacob, who is still on energy. Mm -hmm. And we just grinded ranked for weeks together. Eventually, we <laughs> Like uh, nonstop? <laughs> yeah, it was probably about 80 hours a week for the first three months. It, so needless to say, you were addicted, huh? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So we, we ended up doing that, and um, we just started signing up for as many tournaments as we could. And the big thing back then was just trying to get the star players to want to play with us. Right. So we They're the to, veterans. Right. We had to catch up to them as much as we could. Mm -hmm. So eventually we started catching up, and then like the star players wanted to scrim and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, so basically it was the start players versus us. Like, mm -hmm. They've had seven years of experience. We didn't really stand much of a chance of beating them, but right, like you can tell you're getting closer, and then you get even more addicted when you just right. feel that. So it's... Yeah. We did that. Um, eventually, I had to quit playing professionally just for personal reasons, mainly sure, for sure. school. Mm -hmm. So Jacob, though, because of just how good he was, ended up getting on a team with Fireburner and Gambit at the time. Mm -hmm. And it just took off from there eventually like they landed the huge uh sponsorship from energy mm -hmm. and it's just the scenes blowing up right now everybody wants to get better at it and yeah absolutely i'm hoping that's what i can help people do absolutely but you've been coaching for a while right um yeah ever since i've quit playing professionally it's i've always enjoyed just helping people in general mm -hmm. so just being able to like see people improve and just get them like have them just get that same feeling of just all of a sudden you're just getting better yeah it's, it's very it's, rewarding it's really hard to explain but like if you've ever experienced the feeling you know exactly what i'm talking about absolutely and i, and I think one of your specialties is replay analysis correct uh yeah for sure okay kind of like gives so so someone submits their replay uh, you go through it and then give pointers throughout, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll pretty much, what I do is I end up just recording a video. That way I can um, just talk about pretty much everything that's going on. Whereas like if I'm doing a text replay analysis, there's a lot of little things that you have to leave out. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the video analysis, I can pretty much analyze every single touch. And I'm going to do it from the player's point of view. I'm not going to just 
sit in a like a bird eye view of the field and expect you to know things that you don't. Right. Awesome. Is there anything else that you do outside of replay analysis, or is that your primary? Um, that's the main thing for um, 2v2 and 3v3. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to coach in 2v2 and 3v3 when you're trying to play with somebody just because they're going to be playing differently than if they were playing with someone against their own rank. Right. But for 1v1, I can definitely just go into a game with somebody and show them how to do that as well. Okay, good. Well, thanks for that, Use Wolf. Appreciate you taking your time and, and telling us about that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, it's not just Use Wolf too. Although he is one of the more veteran players, very high level, top 100, all the different titles that I mentioned. Just a f fantastic player. You know, these are the types of people that you want to learn from um, because they have so much experience and so much to offer. So uh, you know, we really appreciate them coming on and taking their time to help us. You know, the rest of us out. Um, but it's not just replay analysis. We have other things that we're putting in the works as well, uh, which should be live hopefully within the next week or so. Uh, we're still putting it together. But these guys are already on the server, so you can talk to them, hit them up, kind of you know, run some ideas past them or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's really exciting. You know, and I also briefly mentioned uh, tournaments, so we're looking into that as well, but that's like phase three. So phase one was getting the server up, getting all the uh, logistics organized, and start getting people in. And we're the, the members are just flowing in. I, don't, I haven't looked at it, but it's like 50 a day or maybe more. I, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Um, so this thing's going to be blowing up fast overnight, guys. So make sure you get in right away so you can start helping out and uh, getting to know the, the community better. Um, but yeah, that was phase one. Phase two is the coaching, and then phase three will be the tournament play. So we'll we'll touch more on that later. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, I just want to kind of talk more about team building, the different options out there. Again, uh, Reddit, subreddit, Rocket League with friends. Uh, Steam has a group, and I'll have all these links in the description below. And then uh, now this brand new Discord that you guys can get in. We're already matching people up. It's really exciting. It's really cool to just see it grow so fast and people really just taking advantage of that. Uh, yeah, that's it. All Everything will be in the description below, guys. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or join me on Discord, either my show Discord or this brand new one, either way. And we'll help you out to the best of our abilities. And I can't wait to see you there and start building teams and uh, just kind of mingling and getting to know you a little better. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.